shooting at a youth football tournament in Antioch leaves one team scrambling to find a place to play. And yeah, their coaches were abruptly told that they are banned from playing at the field, even though they had nothing to do with the shooting. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall spoke with a coach and Brandon, can they find a home field before the upcoming game? Well, Carrie, that's what a lot of that's what more than 100 youth football players are asking and they are all heartbroken and that's because they cannot play on a field, a home field that they have used for the last three years. The reason is still unclear, but many believe it's because of this shooting between a father and coach on a different team. Coaches from the Antioch team say they had nothing to do with it and that their kids should not be penalized. How y'all feel? How y'all feel? Six on three, one, two, three. Yes! It's a play children on the Antioch Jets youth football team did not see coming. This week, their coaches were informed they are no longer allowed to host home games at the Antioch High School's football field. It's really heartbreaking, man. You know, these the kids, they work hard for that. Uh, we've been at Antioch going into our fourth season over there now. We've never had an incident. At a mid-state youth football league kickoff jamboree last Saturday, a football coach broke up a fight between players from his team and an opposing squad. Police say this man, 30-year-old Eric L. Carruthers Jr., approached the coach upset over the way he intervened. Carruthers asked the coach to meet him behind the bleachers where he shot at him, hitting him twice in the leg. Because of the actions of somebody who had absolutely nothing to do with the Antioch Jets, the Antioch Jets and their children have now lost the field. We're kind of at a at a loss. Maisha Massey says her 9-year-old son Azarel is devastated. Without a home field, he and his teammates could forfeit four games. Right now, we don't want to think negative. Um, we just want to ask for help, see if there's anybody who's willing to donate some space for us. The Metro Public School spokeswoman confirmed the home games are canceled, but did not give a reason why. More than 100 kids are affected by this decision. Oh, it's tough that he had to experience that. It's tough that the children out there had to experience it. It was tough for everybody, but it's still tough for our kids because, you know, he, he took a bullet wound and our kids are penalized without a place to play. Now, the suspect is still on the run tonight, and if caught, he faces a felony aggravated assault charges. Anyone who knows where he is or where he can be found is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. We're at the Alert Center tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.